In 2017, over 900 highly specialized medical teams from all over Europe joined their forces in the European reference networks. Together, they tackle complex or rare diseases. This new European initiative allows doctors to share their knowledge, data and resources in virtual networks. For instance, for the treatment of complex bone disorders. I'm Luca San Giorgi. I'm the head of the genetic unit here at the Rizzoli Orthopedic Institute. And I'm also the coordinator of Bond ERN, that is the ERN for a rare bone disorder that is taking care of patients with this kind of problem in 38 centers spread in 10 of the European countries. Currently, we don't have an homogeneous treatment for this patient meaning that a patient, according to the different country where he is treated, could get a different treatment. And that's not fair. The patient shouldn't travel, but the information should travel. And so one of the most important issues is to establish good interoperability between all these different centers in order to set up something that could benefit the patient. I'm Elisa Ferraini. I've been almost 30 years old, and I'm perfect perfect. E abito ad Alessandria, in Italia. Ho sempre saputo di avere l'ostogenesi imperfetta perché me l'hanno diagnosticata da piccola e quindi ho sempre vissuto con questo disturbo. L'effetto più evidente dell'ostogenesi imperfetta sono le ossa fragili, quindi eh, ho sempre saputo che non potevo cadere, non potevo giocare come gli altri bambini perché se cado mi rompo qualche cosa. E quindi l'effetto più evidente è che devo stare attenta quando faccio un gradino, quando piove, quando nevica, quando c'è una superficie scivolosa. European Reference Network can answer to the specific need of the patient, like having the right diagnosis at the right time. For instance, uh, Elisa never got a molecular testing so far, and she is 30 years old. European Reference Network could answer to their needs to have a more appropriate diagnosis in the right time. Currently, it takes seven to 10 years for a patient with rare disease to get a diagnosis. We really hope to be able to shorten that at least half of the time. One of the major points is uh, to have a strong interaction between ERN in order to respond to those patients that are bridging between different ERNs, meaning that they have symptoms that could be part of the ERN, like bone, and symptoms that could be part of the endocrine ERN or of the metabolic ERN. What we would like to do is try to merge data that are coming from different sources in order to get a better picture of the disease, a picture that could be reproducible in all the different centers that are part of the ERN, and try to get important information for the diagnosis, the follow-up, and the treatment of the patient. Quello che mi aspetto dalla European Reference Network è che ci sia più ricerca, quindi anche per le persone, per i bambini che vengono diagnosticati, che ci sia più ricerca per cercare di migliorare la qualità di vita delle persone che sono affette da ossogenesi imperfette e da altri disturbi rari. Spero che vengano diagnosticate prima, che ci sia più ricerca, che ci siano più eh, cure disponibili per queste malattie rare, che spesso vengono diagnosticate troppo tardi e quindi i pazienti fanno cure che effettivamente non sono loro utili perché appunto si, si pensa di curare la malattia sbagliata. Probably we will be able also to show to the medical world that rare disorders are not so rare and uh, not so peculiar we can show that the treatment that is set up for rare disorder could be also applied to more spread disorders. And I think that this is gonna lead to the point that ERN could be really a revolution in the way in which healthcare is provided to the patient. <laughs>